here's my Jackson Kilroy. I'm going to put an anchor trolley on the left side of it today. Well, let's get started. Take a look at my materials and the tools I'll be using. Well, here's my materials, my tools. 3 16th drill bit, star head screwdriver, a knife, 3 8 wrench. You have the option of pop rivets, waterproof, or you can nut and bolt it. Nut and bolt, very good and strong. The rivets are more so for if you can't reach to put the nuts on. With mine here I can reach it so I'm going to be bolting it. Here's the kit I bought. Bass Pro carries that one. They have all different types online but I've used this one on my other kayaks and it's fine. Okay so I gotta figure out where I want my line to be running. I want to keep it nice and straight so it looks good. I'm going to run it off of this line. So I'll probably drill right here, put this up here, and then I'll come along straight and find a spot around here and drill the other part there. So I'm pretty sure I want it here, just eyeballing it, and I'm far enough ahead. I'm going to come straight, it's going to meet right here, and then we want to come straight down to roughly in that area. Like seen, I held it in place with my hand and I marked it, and I marked it down here. I'm going to hope it's going to line fairly straight and blend in nice. Make sure I can access it from the from the inside with my hand. All right. No turning back now. I'm lucky on this one, it's easy access. On my CUDA, I was barely able to reach inside and get nuts on it. Where, if you can't reach, like I said earlier, you just put the pop rivets. I mean, pop rivets are more than good as well. But you know these nut and bolts, stainless steel, this is all stainless steel, that's the good thing about it. It's all stainless steel, it's not going to rust, and stainless steel is extremely strong, so there's no, no way she's going to break on you. Good thing is, is I can take this off, my cover gives me, take this cover off, I get better access to, to where it's at. This Kilroy has uh, rod tube holders up inside here, so had to move the one out of the way. The other one's still there, but I can get in under it. And then we take the rope. You get lots, it's about 30 feet. Make sure you put your ring here on it we just pick a spot first cut it and you don't want to be hitting your hands and you want it 
yet. You want it out of the way. But easy access to tie it up while you're in the boat. Well, I'd say this is going to be out of the way. going to be tight. The line's going to look good. The line's going to look good. So it's going to look, it'll sit, it'll sit in a good spot when she's tight. So now, now we want to tie a much better knot on the ends here. I don't want it to start with. I will be adjusting it in the future. So basically there you have, you pull it all the way up to the front, you pull it all the way to the back. Then you lock it into place. And you see the bolts, the nuts. That's what I had to deal with there was the tubing. the boat however you want. You want it sideways, you want the boat, you want it off the side. That's the nice thing about the trolley. You can move it where you want. Then when you're not using it, you lock it in place. Or when you do when you do have your anchor set and you're positioned where you want, then you lock it so it doesn't keep sliding on you and it'll stay right here good and tight. It won't move. Like I said, try it out for a couple trips. You might want to make it shorter or longer. Because it will pull in the water. And there you have it. Straight, simple, quick and easy. I think I did this in less than a less than, uh, half hour. It's going to take me longer to cut the video than it is that it actually took to do. But definitely, you, you want one of these. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, please. Enjoy the other videos and safe fishing. It's quick and easy to install.